NSFW what's the most beeped up game of truth or dare you've ever had? Removed. I was first up. And they dared me to leave and go home. Never mind. I want truth. Do you really? Richard. Edit. I really want to turn this truth slash dare motif into a witty thank you for the gold you kind bastard. But I got nothing. Thank you. Probably for the best that I didn't ask that. Holy speep. I thought you were just kidding dude. Seriously. That's pretty f beeped up. I hope he got some new friends. Getting a bit buzzed I asked one of the standard questions. Have you ever had a sexual experience with someone of the same sex? After some doubting he answered with when I was four my cousin raped me. And that was the end of that night. This girl was dared to kiss me or lick the toilet. She licked the toilet. Well if that is ever an emotional sucker punch to the gonads. Like getting hit in the crotch with a frozen hammer. Because a regular hammer just doesn't cut it? Well obviously. Hammers do bludgeoning damage. 3 for weapon proficiency. It was truth or dare at a girlfriend's house back in HS. And she has a really nice house. Me. Two guy friends. And two girlfriends. It eventually led to daring the girls to go into the shower naked. Which could fit quite a few people for a shower actually. One girl dared the one guy to get naked. The other girl dares the other guy to get naked. And I'm sitting there with my boxers on. No one bothered to dare me anything after that. They were having a foursome in the shower. I was sitting in the bedroom adjacent to the bathroom in my boxers. That hurt. Damn. Son. Where'd you find this? Played truth or dare with some friends at a party. I got dared to kiss all of the girls there and none wanted to. Beep me. The moment the first one or two has refused. Social pressure is against you. If you had started with somebody else. It is quite possible that all of them would have kissed you. We three guys and three girls were all in the hot tub at this chick's house playing truth or dare. And I get dared to go mash my dick slash balls up against her parents bedroom window. Granted. It's like 1 am. And the whole house is completely dark. So I thought it would be no big deal. Get out of the hot tub. Run over to the window. Drop my suit. And smash my junk up against the window for a few moments. Then, in the reflective light of the pool, I catch a glimpse of her parents sitting right inside the window, watching us from inside. They didn't even blink. Just just watched me. It was beeping terrifying. Terrifying. Like, I saw them for a split beeping second as the light passed over the glass. Just inches away from my mashed up dick on the other side of the window. Something from a horror movie. I gasped and ran back to the hot tub. Got back in. And just sat there in complete silence. A couple minutes later. Her dad comes outside laughing. Hands me a beer. And then reminisces with all of us for a minute about the crazy speep he did when he was a kid. I've never felt a shock like I did when I saw their faces. It still haunts me sometimes. But it all turned out better than expected. I was 25. Her dad is a bro. Her dad was probably like this beeping guy. Ha 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 ha. Cool dads are the best. I was hanging out with some friends one night and we were trying to think of a game to play. We wanted to play Monopoly. But we also wanted to play strip poker. But we also wanted to play truth or dare. Alcoholic beverages were involved. As you can imagine. So we invented what we called Ultimonopoly. 
it's played on a Monopoly board. The rules are You start the game off with double the amount of money you normally start with in Monopoly. If someone lands on your property, whoever's property it is gets to ask the lander truth, dare, or strip. If you didn't want to perform whatever was asked of you, you could also pay the property tax to get out of it. Later, we instituted certain amounts of money that the property owner could pay to buy out the lander and force them to do a truth, dare, or strip. If you landed on free parking, you could either take all the money in free parking, get all your clothes back, or make everyone in the group remove an article of clothing. There were more rules than that. But those were the basics. We played until 6 a.m. Shenanigans were had. Friendships were destroyed. We were all ass naked by the end. Ten tenths would play again. Update. I actually heard back from my friend, which is a miracle in and of itself. He said he would take a look if he finds the Monopoly box. Not sure if the game belonged to him or his old roommate. Who may have taken it? I've been racking my brain all day and I vaguely remember a drinking game portion. Something for passing go. And by the end we had incorporated chance cards and community chest. But part of the fun of Ultimate Monopoly was making up the rules as we went. You can play the game with the three basic rules and build from there. By the end. We had more than 10 rules I think. But if he gets back to me with the official rule sheet. I'll update again. Update 2 still no news on the official rules list. But my friend remembered another rule. Drink when you roll a double. That was part of the drinking portion. Update with rules. It's a Halloween miracle. Enjoy drunk shenanigans. Please write up all the rules and publish them somewhere. You can be the hero who makes Monopoly fun for the world. Oh no. There will always be one competitive mother peeper who will have all his clothes and won't trade you goddamn park place to save your life. Or that peeper. Who will start losing at some point and unite all of the group against the leading player at the time. Buddy's having a party and invites me. Drinks were had and were all sufficiently buzzed. Buddy's turn passes and he spins the bottle. Lands on a girl who's pretty and chesty. He dares her to let me have a shot from her cleavage. She agrees and pours a shot and then buries it in her cleavage. So I'm face deep in her tits. Literally struggling to grab this shot glass. I finally get it and try to get it out. It catches her shirt and spills all over her chest. I pull back and I'm apologizing. She looks at me and says nah. -uh. You gotta finish the shot. I clean her up and look over at my buddy who nods to me. He is literally the best wingman ever. Your buddy is the real beeping MVP. What started as a game of truth or dare turned into an orgy that then turned into a naked fist fight. Now that sounds like a good old fashioned good time. I'll bet the details go something like. Nate is going down on his crush. Having the time of his life. But Johnny wouldn't stop fingering Nate's butthole. I mean. It is an orgy. But Nate's all. Quit it. Brother. And Johnny was all. It's an orgy. Bro. Just go with it. And Nate tried to get back to Natalie. But he can't get his mind off the finger. So he did the sensible thing and showed Johnny how it felt. With his size 12. So Johnny stood up and was all. You mad. Bro. And Nate was yelling. Come at me. Bro. But since they were all oiled up. It just looked like they were continuing the orgy with each other. It eventually turned into that anyway. They're still together. That's oddly specific. Somewhere around 13 or so. I dare a friend girl to fart on my other friend guy. She actually seemed excited. He seemed nervous. 
and closed his eyes as he laid down onto the bed. So she squats over his face and lets go of one I didn't think she'd have in her. I see his eyes go wide and he knocks her off of him and runs towards the bathroom, by this point I'm laughing hysterically and she's slightly embarrassed. My dad walks out of the kitchen with his friends. Asks what the hell happened as he's puking in the toilet. I told him. Now she's incredibly embarrassed. From the bathroom we hear oh god I can still smell P.O.O. corn. Brel aaaa he had an odd vomiting sound. She left shortly after. In big announcer's voice. Brutality. Never have I ever at uni or I have never as we called it. Found out the girl we lived with had a gangbang with five rugby players. She said it was amazingly hot hearing them all cheer each other on as they took turns beeping her. Edit not leads met. This was about 15 years ago. Were they from Leeds Met? We were playing Never Have I Ever and this French guy exchange student said something that sounded like Never have I ever speep on my girlfriend. After about two minutes of laughter his buddy helped explain that he actually meant cheat damn you language barrier. So you're saying he didn't deny speeping on his girlfriend? Late to the party. But very late at night we were playing truth or dare in my basement. We dared a guy to put on a wetsuit and a go-kart helmet. Carry a wooden boat or wake up my mother and ask her where the peanut butter was. She woke startled and simply asked oh honey, what did you do? I feel like I should use a threw away for this. But beep it. I used to play this thing called the bag game when I was 19 and on into my early 20s. It's basically just the dare part of truth or dare. Except everyone gets 5 dares. They write them on 5 slips of paper and throw them in the bag. The bag then goes around a circle one at a time. Each person it passes picks a slip and has to do whatever that slip of paper says. I think you get one pass per game. Anyway. Here's what happened. A girl I was crushing on was sitting between me and an old friend like known each other since middle school. She pulled a slip that said stick your hand down the pants of the person to your left and right and compare their genitals out loud for the group. She did exactly that. Basically. My friend and I got hand jobs under our pants in front of a group of our friends while the girl compared and contrasted our wongs. TL. DR my friend and I got simultaneous hand jobs in front of our friends while the girl compared our dongs out loud. Edit. Holy balls. This is probably my highest upvoted post ever. Since the question came up several times. Technically no one won per se. She said his was a bit longer. But mine had more girth. So draw whatever conclusions you want from that. The whole thing was slightly weird but everyone was drunk. Which is the best way to play the bag game. Make the bag game a thing. I'd love to report to the friends who created it that it has become an internet sensation. Edit 2. Jesus Christ man. That's a brilliant idea for a game. Okay I never wanted to tell anyone this but I guess I will. Play truth or dare one time. And it was my turn so I choose dare. They dared me to knock on my neighbor's door and run. But my neighbor saw me running away. My neighbor told my mom and I cried. Y'all got crazy lives. Did you get therapy? I'm so sorry. I haven't knocked on a door since. To this day when I go to my friend's house I just sit out front staring until someone notices me. Truth or dare? Would you rather? Marry Feep Kill. Cards Against Humanity. Or any game like that at all. Okay. Well this wasn't truth or dare. But never have I ever with me and some of my friends. Towards the end. It started getting pretty catty with one of my friends constantly saying specific things that would get one of my best friend eliminated. 
like never have I ever sucked a guy off in a Starbucks bathroom. That kind of thing. So that's how I found out that this really good friend of mine had apparently f-beeped my boyfriend on prom night after I decided to go home rather than lose my virginity to him. Good times. I was playing never have I ever with my brother. Cousin. And their good friend at a bar. They were all older than me. My brother asks the question, never have I ever kissed a dude. I'm straight. But theater can get weird and sometimes you play a gay dude. I don't particularly care. But as soon as my finger goes down. My cousin and his friends start ragging on me. For the first time in my adult life. However. My brother sort of defends me. Come to find out my brother was gay and scared to come out to his bigoted friends and family. He shot himself 35 days later. FFS I was thinking it was all going to end well. You caught me completely off guard with that last sentence. Sorry bro. Really. Till I had the most boring teenage years. See. For real. I have no stories. And I feel bad. As a 19 year old. I feel I've failed. Succeeded in not looking like an idiot. I'm not sure. My brother got cards against humanity. But hadn't played it before. We opened it up to play with my parents and aunt and uncle. I had to put a stop to him explaining what Bukak is to my mom. It's like when you have a bottle of mayonnaise and you think you're all out so you lift the bottle upside down to your face to see. Tap the bottom a few times and boy howdy. There was mayonnaise still in there after all. Edit. Thanks for the gold. Dusty stranger. I can't wait to torture my sims. Hanging out with a few girls from the ghetto side of town. Plenty of drunken shenanigans. Anyways a game of strip poker broke out in the kitchen. Some point in the night a random girl appeared. Maybe a young looking 13. To ask her mom where something was. Pretty weird vibe already. When her mom said come play with us. I'll deal you in the next hand. Me and my buddy nope the beep right out of there. By far mom of the year right there. I didn't know Subway sponsored that award. Always eat. No I can't say it. This one isn't so crazy as others. Just stupid teenager speep. Kid was dared to go into the bedroom where the parents were sleeping. And start doing push UPS. If asked what he was doing he would simply state. I'm doing this because I love my green nipples. It may not be as crazy or as interesting to read as the others. But I would have loved to be there to have witnessed it because it sounds hilarious. The other stories are a little more interesting to read but I sure as hell wouldn't want to witness those situations. I was dared to kiss my best friend we're both males. He slobbered all over my face and tried to slip me the tongue. I pulled back and cried out. Asking him what the hell he's doing while wiping his saliva off my face. He claimed that's how he thought you were supposed to kiss. He was a kissless virgin. This was in high school. I was his first kiss. Edit. Oh god. My inbox. It appears a lot of people have now shipped my best friend and I. I guess I need to call him and tell him we're married with kids now. Edit too. So it just dawned on me that my friend's birthday is tomorrow. Well. Making him popular on Reddit seems to be a pretty decent gift. I'll show this thread to him tomorrow. Cute. Are you guys still together? Well. He did just leave his wife recently. And he's been asking me when I'm moving back to the US so we can have some quality guy time together again. Hmm. You should totally go for it. Guess this means I need to leave my wife too. Brothers be for hoes. D. Also, be sure to always be truthful with him. 
if you lie with a man as you lie with a woman. It is an abomination unto God. Allegedly. Playing cards against humanity with my family I know and the black card is what ended my last relationship. Mum throws down a brain tumor. Shock silence. Her and my dad divorced partly because of the stress his brain tumor was putting on their marriage. He got better. Edit. Since so many people are asking. The marriage ended because the tumor caused him to have severe mood swings and gain weight. And by the time they found it it was a tumor they were through. Also thank you for the gold. Yay for chronically ill parents. She won that hand. Yup. Disclaimer. This was pre-internet. Learning about and seeing the female form was elusive for some us. Me and my friend were dared to strip and jerk each other off in exchange for seeing a girl's boobs. We were 13. She was 15. I regret nothing. Edit. Yes. We finished. Yes. It was awkward afterwards. Regrets. Think of it the other way around. A 15 year old girl that s really into seeing some gay action despite not having been influenced by the fetish inducer that is the internet. And she gets it? Live. For as cheap as lifting her shirt once. Business model. I just turned 50 and you kids are a bunch of goddamn sex freaks. Yes. Dick in hand. Yes we are. <laughs>